Hello everyone, it's DA here with a Dauntless Combat tutorial. It will be leaning towards the beginner side of things. So if you are experienced, this video may not be the best for you. So this is going to be something to ease your challenge whenever you journey into the Shattered Isles. So why do you fight? Well, just like most games out there, most MMOs out there, the goal is for you to kill the behemoths, which are the monsters in this game, have them drop items, have them drop loot, and then you can use those items to craft unique and better gear, simple enough, and then you journey in and do the same thing over and over again. So you get the basics of the game that lets you know what you're supposed to be doing right here. Now the beauty of Dauntless Combat is that the behemoth attacks often deal with randomness rather than the same sequence but you will still know when the behemoths are about to attack you so with that all said let's get started well combat in Dauntless take various things into the account the skill the gear and the behemoth we will start with the gear your gear comprised of your armor for your head your torso your arms and your legs in addition to that you will have your weapons which are going to be your swords the hammers, the dual blades, the axe, and the war pikes. Starting off in the game, you will be given the generic or the basic gear. These gears, of course, will come with individual stats that will add up to influence your damage in combat, your movement, and your survival skills. By the looks of your weapon, you can clearly tell what deals the most damage, what will be effective, what is slower, and what is faster. This, of course, you can choose based on your preferred style. If you like something heavy and dealing a lot of damage, you can go for the hammer. And if you like something swift and fast with multiple hits, then you can go for the dual blades. And if you want something fast with a single hit, then you can go for the sword. So you can see how that is going to work out there. However, when it comes to you starting off in Dauntless, the axe and the war pikes will not be unlocked for you until later on in the game when you have leveled up. Now, just like every other game out there, there are tonics or portions that you can equip before going into battle. These items can be acquired by killing some of the behemoths, you can acquire them from the market, or by unlocking rewards that you gain from previous battles. They can reduce the damage you take, they can increase your damage, or any of your combat value and that is very important that you go ahead and do that before you journey into your later missions. And they can also be beneficial to your squad mates and your choice of portions and what to equip will determine your influence in combat if you're a team player or if you are a solo player. Now it is also important that later in the game you will be able to infuse your weapons and your armor with items that will boost or influence your effectiveness in battle. Now that we're done with the gear, let's move on to the combat and the behemoths. When you are dropped into battle, single or solo, it is important to know that holding out your weapons will drain your stamina when you run. This stamina is what helps you dodge in battle and also what helps you move around faster or run. Using your letter C key, you will be able to have a quick menu which will also include emotes, signal flares, and of course the importance of that is that signal flares will be used to signal your squad mates whenever you see the behemoths and it can be used vice versa so you look up into the sky whenever they see the behemoths and it tells you where they are. So what do you do when you encounter these behemoths? Assuming that these are going to be your first or early encounters. What you want to do always is to pay attention to the various attacks and the moves that they make before they do those attacks. Example, if someone wants to throw a punch at you, their shoulders are going to move at first. So these are some of the things that you want to pay attention to. Using the space key, however, you will be able to dodge and roll out of the way depending on what weapons you have. If you have the dual blades, you're going to be dashing through. If you have the sword, you're going to be rolling. So those are some of the things you want to pay attention to. And this is also why it's important to know some of the moves that some of these monsters make before these attacks. Watch out for crouches, jumps, step backs, or rage mode, which of course is when the behemoths will turn red. And at that point in time, you want to pay attention and just run out of the way and then turn around and do your other attacks. Now, hitting the beast is quite easy. You just have to time it right and make sure that you get within range. I have to be honest with you, I've been in situations where I just kept on swinging at thin air without being close and not hitting anything, so it is very important that you pay close attention to that. Now you will have your basic attacks and your heavy attacks. Depending on your weapon of choice, the heavy attacks will be different too. And if you mix the basic attacks and the heavy attacks, 
it will result in some devastating and beautiful combos. And the third one is going to be your special attacks. These are effects that will be based on the type of weapons you have. And to know that you have to look towards the top left of your screen where you will see a bar. This is going to show you if your special attack is charged or if it is empty. Once it is fully charged, you can press the letter Q button to charge your sword, do a hit and evade with your dual melee, or blast with your heavy melee. Now if you time it right, you can deal a devastating blow or stun the behemoth where they end up on the ground and it gives you time to jump in. You can even end up cutting off their tail if you time it right. Let's say you soften them up a little bit and then of course you end up using your charged attack. Now it is important that you are constantly moving and be ready to evade at any single time. You can immediately deal a lot of damage to the behemoths by rolling side by side, turning around and just giving them that amazing and beautiful blow and that's one of the things that I've enjoyed so far. Now if the behemoth is enraged, they will charge more than once or twice. So you may want to hit the space bar multiple times when you see them coming and that will help you evade maybe a storm, maybe some spikes or maybe just a regular charge. Lastly, make sure you pay attention to your health bar. Health bar is very important and sometimes your teammates might not be able to get to you on time to revive you. Remember to take advantage of the little ether cracks that you will see on the floor. Those can be used, you can just press the E button and you'll be able to charge up your health. Use those before you resort to using your health portion because your health portion is going to be for one of those last minute moments. Now this of course is a beginner's lesson, a beginner's guide and if you follow the steps you will become a great slayer, maybe not the best but in time you will improve and become better. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Hope it was informative. And if you want to see more videos on Dauntless and different tutorials, let me know down below in the comment section and smash that like button. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe for more Dauntless and other games in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.